Beware my power! Green Lantern's light! Greetings Multiverse! We've just had the amazing first picture of Wayne T. Carr as Jon Stewart's Green Lantern, as he would have appeared in Justice League thanks to Zack Snyder. We've had artwork, behind the scenes shots, and now a full photo of the actor in costume, which suggests something big. So let's run down everything we know about Jon Stewart's scene in Zack Snyder's Justice League, and what his role would have been in Justice League 2 and 3. The final scene of Zack Snyder's Justice League, if you didn't know, features Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne meeting Harry Lennox's Martian Manhunter for the first first time, with John Jones promising to support the Justice League in the coming battle with Darkseid. It's a cool scene, but it's not what Zack Snyder originally planned. Instead of Martian Manhunter, Batman was supposed to meet Jon Stewart, who would pledge the support of the Green Lantern Corps when Darkseid invaded. Thanks to a Twitter post from concept artist Jojo Aguilar, who worked with Snyder on the movie, we got a good look at what Jon Stewart was supposed to look like in the scene. Snyder then confirmed that the scene was already filmed, and actor Wayne T. Carr was the actor playing Green Lantern. Carr then showed a behind the scenes look at the filming of the scene which was shot in green screen, set up in Zack Snyder's own driveway. Now at last we finally have our first shot from the Green Lantern scene, showing Wayne Carr in full costume as Jon Stewart. Zack Snyder was asked about the missing Justice League scene in a Los Angeles Q&A to promote Army of the Dead, and he pulled out his phone and showed the photo to the audience. The photo is small, but it clearly shows Carr as Green Lantern in the final scene of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Beyond that, the photo also revealed that not only was the Green Lantern scene filmed, the digital effects were completed too, as the Lantern uniform is all CGI. In other words, there is no reason why the scene couldn't be released right now, other than the stubbornness of Warner Brothers. As for Green Lantern's role in Justice League 2 and 3, we already know a little from the storyboards which showed Green Lantern arriving in the Nightmare timeline in Justice League 3, and assisting Batman and the remaining heroes to fight Darkseid. However, it was assumed that this would be Hal Jordan, based on Jim Lee's sketches on the storyboards, but in an interview with Oprox, Snyder says that Jon Stewart was always intended as the lead Green Lantern of his series. According to Snyder, Stewart would be both scout and cheerleader for the League, plus would get the Green Lantern Corps mobilised to fight Darkseid in Justice League 3's final battle. It's unknown yet if we will ever get to see the cut Jon Stewart scene from Zack Snyder's Justice League, however we know it exists, it's been filmed and the effects have been completed, so it's surely only a matter of time. The question is, will Warner Brothers do the right thing for once and voluntarily release it, or will it get leaked? Our money's on leaked. For now, that's everything we know about Jon Stewart's cut role in Zack Snyder's Justice League. What do you guys think? Are you eager to see the cut Green Lantern scene? Or are you happy with the Martian Manhunter one we got? Let us know in the comments below, or head over to the Inside the Multiverse Discord server for some DC chat. The link's in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, it all really helps me out. And check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. We've got several on the Justice League sequels, and details on Ben Affleck's The Batman Movie. For now though, thanks for watching, and Multiverse, out. Thank you.